Hi, Dr. Uh, Kevin Anderson here, and I just wanted to do this video to give you a little flavor how I work online with students. I've been working online with students since 2007. If you could imagine back then, I was holding up a board and writing with a camera back then, so things have come a long way. Since then, um, I like to utilize whatever re um, technology we can in our sessions, and I typically will share my iPad during session so you can kind of see what I'm writing in real time. So let me give you a little flavor of that. Let me share my screen. Um, okay, I'm sharing my iPad. So let's say I were working with you, you asked me a question, you're like, can, can you describe, you know, like what a mole is? So like, I would basically go to my iPad and I would write out, okay, so let's say we wanted to convert from grams to moles. So this is our mass. If we wanted to convert to moles, we're gonna utilize just sort of a dimensional analysis approach to it. We're gonna multiply by one mole over what we call the molar mass. And you're gonna get the molar mass from the periodic table, okay? We can go over that a little bit later if you don't know how to do that. And then we can also convert from moles to molecules quite easily by multiplying by Avogadro's number. And that is what the mole is. It's that many molecules per one mole. For example, what if they wanted you to go all the way to atoms? So we can convert it all the way to atoms. In that case, you would be multiplying the molecules by the number of atoms they're asking about. So let me do a sample problem of converting all the way from grams to atoms. I'm gonna use some estimates of the molar masses. I don't have the exact decimal point values, but let's say, let's say I had 20 grams of CO2 and I wanted to know how many molecules and atoms of carbon, let's say atoms of carbon in the material. So we would multiply it by one mole of CO2 and then the molar mass from the periodic table is approximately 44 grams of CO2. And then we would multiply it by Avogadro's number. And that's the number of molecules per mole. And then how many carbon atoms do we see in CO2? Since there's one carbon, there'd be one carbon atom. So you'd say one C atom for every one molecule in this case. So again, I'm not gonna crunch that out, but I just wanted to give you a flavor of me writing on the screen so you can kind of see how it works interacting with me during a session. And again, we don't have anybody live, but you can ask questions, you can interact, you can share your screen. It's very, very conducive to all sorts of levels of teaching, whether it be working through problems, whether it be uh, me teaching just full-blown lessons to you about anything, anything you wanna learn that I can um, convey that knowledge. We use the iPad. Um, if we need to use interactive sources on the internet, we can share um, the internet interactive type programs and we can work through those. So it's very, very, very useful, very interactive. Um, with the student. So hopefully that gives you a good feel of how I work and how I talk and how we're working through these sessions. Thank you.